OB and uh, we should be closer than friends. Uh, if you OB and uh, engaging is on my agenda, request my chariot to get ya. The doors OP and uh. hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I jump into this video, welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for sticking around. Please remember to share my videos to your family, to your friend. Don't let your family watch my video on your phone. Let they watch it on their tablet and their phones too. But before I jump into the video and the topic of N, yes, this is my hair. Y'all normally see me in my wig. <laughs> but because of what's going on, my girl is not available to braid my hair because, you know, we got to practice social distance. And yeah, this virus is not a joking matter, guys. So please take it serious. We want to make sure we protect our parents, her babies, yeah, our kids, and our loved ones. Social distance. Please practice it. But yeah, I'm going to jump into the video. We're going to have a chat. We're going to talk. And if you didn't know, I love to talk. And today I've been talking. Um the makeup i did it live on my facebook page so please follow my face facebook page the link is linked in my bio so you can go follow my page like that page because I, I do a lot of live and i feel like doing the live on there it may interact with you guys so follow me on my facebook page i just, please please be safe okay so before we jump into the video and get it get it started know that mental depression is real and we must not look down on people let's stop discrimination let's stop calling people madman madman it's mental illness when we're jamaican yes and for you guys didn't know i am jamaican so you're gonna hear some little pata coming in that is real it is real guys mental illness is real depression is real let's not let's let's stop it like it's not really don't exist is real okay that's first that's first and foremost depression mental illness is real so let's jump into this video signs of depression okay you may have a loved ones or even yourself that's suffering from one of these things or seeing signs in one of these things you know but we are denial yes i am guilty of that i am guilty of being denial yep <laughs> So I don't want to take this video like it's a joke, but anybody that know me know that when I laugh, <laughs> it's like a um, coping me mechanism for me. I have to laugh because if I don't laugh, I will start crying. So we don't want this video to go in tears. So if you see me look a giggle there and there, don't take it offensive or anything. Just know that's how I cope and other people have a coping mechanism that they use. So first sign, anxiety. Do I get anxiety? Yes, I do get anxiety. So that's one of my signs. Lack of sleeping. Sleeping a lot. Those are both signs. Not sleeping or sleeping a lot. Those are signs. Okay? When you see somebody just sleeping away, those are signs of depression. Or they're not sleeping at all because they have everything on their brain. So they stay up a lot. I suffer from both of those. Um... Those are what that those are was my sign, and I was denial of it for years and years. Um, low appetite, that's a sign of depression. Eating a lot, that is a sign of depression. Okay, overindulging food that you know is not good for you, all that box of cake, box of ice cream, or a tub of ice cream, and you eat it sitting on bed, eating all that in front of the TV that's a sign of depression those are signs it's not oh i want it's my time of the month and i want to eat a whole lot no it's not good for those hips okay it's not good for these arms those are signs of depressions feeling guilty which i am very guilty of my guilty i don't want to leave my kids because when i do i feel like oh my god i'm here having fun and my kids is not here with me i wonder if they okay you know worry a lot that's a sign i worry a lot um we worry that oh i don't want to have fun. i don't want to do this without them you know that's a big sign of depression not knowing how to have fun by yourself 
that's a sign of depression always feeling guilty if you get your some get you something like you go to buy, buy something at a store and you get something and you didn't get something for one of your kids or any of your kids and you feel guilty like you're the worst person in the world that's a sign yes i said recklessness right um, yes crying that's one that i don't even show that much i will cry and most of my crying will be in the shower because that's from when i was little i noticed anything that happened to me water will be my peaceful place and i find that to be very peaceful so if i'm with you and you see me go next to the water i'm around i'm calm water is very calming for me i really don't talk much to my family and tell them what's going on but i hope this video brings some light to your um family um the biggest one for me that i'm doing this video because at this time when everybody's isolated a lot of people don't don't know how to be by this so you gotta be open your eyes at this time if you have a family member close to you repeating doing the same thing over and over that's another sign when on normal stuff you know people do stuff that is you be like why is she doing that you know uh what else like always shaking always don't want to sit you know you are fidgety that's the word fidgety um that's a sign like you get it act irritated angry you know easily get angry those are signs and I, being angry is a sign of a little mental sometimes illness but I, we ain't gonna jump into that topic um communication isolation um that's a sign of of depressions you know you isolate yourself from family friends you don't want to see them that's a sign of depression um i um a lot of people deal with depression different too there's different sign different type of depression you have depression that people are out and about um can deal with job great great with no problem you have people that can do their job because they are depressed um, I will tell you a sign like someone losing a parent or miscarriage and some people will deal with that okay some people can have a miscarriage and be okay with it but others will have a mis uh, miscarriage and deal dealt with it for years you know on years that never get over it and some some people don't have a, like can't have kids so when they see other kids there, you know, other people with their kids, it's like they feel really bad and stay away, you know. So you got to know at this time we have to check on our loved ones, make sure they're okay. Suicidal, that's a big one that really hurts because sometimes we, we get the signs and we don't even see it. Like they try to tell us the signs, like when they're saying goodbye, they love you. You know, don't forget them. Those are signs. When you see people cutting their self, because you have a lot of people that cut their wrist, cut their self in different ways. Those are signs of depressions. And other, we got to understand that people deal with things in different ways. Everybody don't deal with mental or depression the same way. We got to leave people alone for them to can resolve or come to you. Don't be, some people don't like when you be too pushy. You know, we got to learn how to baby steps and some depression. You got to be tough on them and say, get up, you know, come on. When other people, you can't do that. That's like you're pushing them over to the edge. So we got to be careful when we're touching this topic. That's why this is a topic. It's like a taboo topic that no one really want to talk about. And I struggled for months, for months to come and do this video because I'm like, I don't want people to look at me this way. I don't want people to look at me that way. But guess what? The world is not perfect. I'm not perfect. As you can see what's going on in the world, the world is uproar with everything that's going on. So we got to be careful. I'm very isolated. So this may not be affecting me because I'm used to being in my house at this point. But who to tell down the line? It's like it come to be burden when you have other people that can cannot deal with isolation so we got to be careful a lot of people deal with depression differently like i said with giving giving you an example a miscarriage or losing a parent or losing anyone in your life or losing anything you know some of us we may say oh get over it come on let's go party 
but guess what when you party when you drink when you smoke that problem is still going to be there for that person or maybe for you so we got to be careful and mindful of the stuff we say around people because some things are triggers um watching certain things are triggers for us and other people um so we gotta we definitely have to be mindful of what we are putting out there or putting in to people so i hope this video helped you guys if you have any question any suggestion or if you want me to talk more about this topic please i'm begging you i'm not asking you i am begging you leave it in the comment below all you have to do is swipe up swipe up and leave it in the comments below because this topic especially for island girl us island women or island men is not a topic that I talk about a lot in our families and you know what i'm talking about depression is not one of them we didn't have therapy um special you know special ed in our school growing up especially if you're in your 30s we didn't have that i don't know if about now they have that in jamaica or in the islands but we didn't have those people we learn to just tough it up move on we're okay especially for boys we get the boys get not to talk not to cry sorry not to cry tough it up man it up so when they get older they don't know how to handle certain things in their life they don't know how to treat a woman that's another topic you know because of how we were brought up um we were told you okay get over it you know like those tears but depression is real guys wake up just like this virus that's going on it's real people are out there dying we have to take that in consideration open your eyes see what's going on around your neighborhood take a drive you don't have to go next just take a drive to your neighborhood but please guys stay in safe stay inside your house if you have food you have everything and you have no business going outside stay inside your house please guys please i am begging you but please check on those people. At the same note, please check on those people. Call those people that you know. Some of them don't say anything, but are going through things. Please. And if you want me to talk about my story, that's a tough one for me to talk about too. And um, I'm not sure if I'm ready, but I will definitely have a long talk about it and speak about my story. Um, what bring on my depression. And I know a lot of family members are going to be shocked when they see this video sorry guys um but i have to talk my truth but this video is not about me but it's just a signs of depressions because a lot of us don't read <laughs> including myself to pick up the phone and go on google and co type in stuff because sometimes we're going through stuff and we don't know it take a little second to google it and see if this is what's going on with you so guys i'm um, i'm really glad you took the time out to watch my video if i leave anything off please 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 leave it below and if you're going through something reach out to me follow me on facebook my link is in the description um box below um i have instagram i have facebook i don't go much on twitter but i do have it um so leave me a shoot me a message if you want to talk we talk instagram you know instagram can do call um facebook can do call so you can follow me on those sassy unique is my sassy unique 22 is my facebook page um we gotta stop being selfish with our time and help to help others stop being selfish it's not about all about yourself or all about your family members there's stranger out there that need your help too so always remember to share my video guys i really appreciate it all the new subscribers all the ones that stick around all the oldies thank you for sticking around my video but i really want to reach that thousand subscribers i was supposed to do a giveaway on my facebook and instagram but with everything that's going on, it kind of put off on a hold because that's not the most important thing. But guys, please share my videos. Please share my video. I'm begging you. Please like the video. Okay. What else? Did I leave anything off? I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, That's it. I will try to do a part two if I'm missing anything. Or I didn't say anything. I'll try to put in a little clips if I forget anything in this video. So I'll catch y'all in my other video. <laughs> That's my phone that dropped. Chalio.